Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV Any Comey video. And this is going to be a um, big topic basically coming directly from the VV team. So they have recently just confirmed that there's going to be some NFT burns taking place, and we're going to be going lower in additions. Now, I know people are seeing this as some, some, some are seeing it as a sketch away because it's like, okay, you all said you wanted some product in stores. Now that there's product left over, you're trying to burn it. Which one is it? Do you want the product or do you want it gone? I understand that question. Maybe we can get some clarifications on that. And then there's people confused thinking that this means that they're going to take collectibles from people's vault. No, basically what they're saying is the Captain America that was released, there's still some left over that hasn't been bought. There's about 16,000 that has not been bought yet. Now, they're basically just going to lower that number by 2,500. Now, I know this doesn't seem like a big deal, but first off, it takes the number of additions down from 22,500 to like, what's that? Um, it goes from 22,000 down to 19,500. So, well, 22,000 to 19,500. So it lowers it. It goes from a 22,000 edition collectible to a, to a 19,000 collectible. So that that's kind of decent. That's kind of decent. But also, they proceeded to say that we could potentially be seeing more burns coming in the future. They're going to see in the next few weeks. This is massive because let's say that they decide to just completely burn everything that's left over. This goes from a collectible with 22,000 additions and now it goes down to a collectible with only 6,000 additions. If they were to burn the remaining supply and get rid of everything that has not sold, this collectible would now be so scarce, so scarce that it has 6,000 additions. That is massive. And they've shown that this is they're, they're willing to burn if, if, if it makes sense. So. This is why I think that is big. I think it's big because of not what they're doing, but well, what it represents. It, this represents the fact that they are willing to do it and we could potentially see more burns like this in the future. So that being said, let's check out my homie Dan's take on it. As always, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on notifications so you stay updated. And yeah, let's get into it, man. Hey guys, my name is Dan. Well, so today everybody. I want to talk about something that I saw on Twitter. It was from the VV official digital collectibles page. Most importantly, what they said was that approximately 2,500 of Marvel first Captain America season one common will be removed from circulation. And they uh, made an implication, a very, very, very interesting implication that perhaps this is all speculation but perhaps they will actually take those collectibles and burn the value of their tokens, of the OMI tokens. Okay, I didn't see the burning the OMI token value part of this. I didn't see that. Um, so yeah, this is interesting. Could this be a new mechanism of OMI token utility that will just get rid of some excess collectibles and burn them for our benefit? Let's talk about it. But before we begin, like always, please, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell. Approximately 48% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed, and that's okay. But if you would like to support me, support the channel, please consider subscribing. It does help push out this. Same thing he said. Same thing he said. And also, be sure to subscribe to the homie Dan. He's been out here killing it. He always makes amazing content. And everybody in the community has their own different style and different thoughts and interpretations. So I think that getting different viewpoints in the community is the best way to keep sharp about your investment because obviously um, having one, like for instance, if you just really just only watch my channel, for instance, then you're gonna basically only hear the positive sides mainly. I mean, I address the negatives, but I just, even stuff that most people consider negative, I see it in a positive way. So that's gonna be the spin that I put on my content because that's just how I see things. I always see the positive in things. So you may get some different perspectives, different places. So just saying, it's good to it's good to watch different people so you can really get like a holistic view of what the community is actually thinking and feeling. Content to others, viewers just like you. Now let's get to it. So this, of course, is a big tweet from VV Digital Collectibles, the official VV page here. It says, heads up, VV fam. 2500 Marvel first Captain America season one common editions will be removed from circulation. If you want one, be sure to grab one from the store before they are gone. And Zach Shade says, this is great. Hope it adds to the token burn. If, uh, if not, still helps. And here's another one. This is from Dark RNG. He says, that's all. Of course, 
we will explore potential further burns in the coming weeks. That's actually very interesting. It does somewhat imply that this is burning tokens because he says we will explore potential further burns in the coming weeks. Obviously, this refers to the OMI token utility article. But we will explore potential further burns in the coming weeks. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I got that from that. I thought that they were just going to be burning the NFT. My perspective and my takeaway was they were going to burn the NFT and just like take the additions from 22,000 down to like 19,500. So that, that was my takeaway. I didn't think it had anything at all to do with the OMI token, but I'm trying to understand his, his perspective, his viewpoint, because it is interesting if that happens. Obviously, anything that, that impacts the OMI token, I would love it. Burns in the coming weeks. That's actually very interesting. It does somewhat imply that this is burning tokens because he says we will explore potential further burns in the coming weeks. Obviously, this refers to the OMI token utility article. But why would he bring it up here? And this is all speculation. I don't know. I'm just very speculative in nature. But could this mean that? I think that that just means burning the NFT. I don't know, though. I don't know. I mean, you could be right. I hope you're right. Hey, if it burns Omi as well, go for it. If they burn the equivalent, like let's say it's, it's $50,000 worth of product left over in the store. If they burn the that entire amount in Omi, that would be absolutely amazing. I would be happy with that. So that would be sick. That one way of getting rid of tokens is they could just get rid of excess, excess collectibles and burn the subsequent value in the reserve wallet. I'm assuming it would have to come from the reserve wallet. And so I asked, just to clarify, is this uh, burning Omi or just the collectible? Either way, love you guys and gals. And that's Still believe that? Well, we haven't had that answered, but so we don't know, but possibly this is something that I think could happen in terms of Omi token utility. Riju says, I hold a mint. What happens to my collectible? Nothing. We're just removing some from the remaining retail supply. That obviously makes sense. That means like, if you don't know that, that's it's 16,000 of these that has not been bought yet. So, um, which I'm not sure why. I'm pretty sure these drops happened when they were randomized, which means that there could still potentially be some mints out there that hasn't some really good mints that hasn't been bought yet to my understanding i don't think that this was one of those drops that came out in order obviously if all the first two three four thousand additions the good additions are gone it would make sense to you know um to not buy anymore from the store but if there's still a chance you can get the very first additions yeah i don't know why those aren't sold out why would people think that they would burn from your <laughs> can you imagine i don't get it it's like okay we're gonna burn not our collectibles for money we're gonna burn your collectibles you paid us but we're gonna burn it it's like the omi price prediction wizard we're gonna make your collectibles disappear <laughs> I don't know why people think up. like that, but it's funny. Okay. Obviously, we know now that they're not going to burn our collectibles, which we just paid for. So I guess that's good to know. Very funny. And just to clarify, of course, this is from Claudi on Twitter. Bought one for the fun of it. Got a low mint. This is the collectible that they're talking about. That's the common. Just so you guys know. So he, if he's just bought this, that means that you can still get low mint. So why are people not buying this collectible? I am confused why people aren't buying. Well, it's not a first appearance. They don't have first appearance on it anyway. So that's a thing. And I think this should be the first appearance Captain America. I know we have Bucky. Um, we also have Steve Rogers. I don't think that we, I think this is a first appearance. So I don't know why this isn't labeled as first appearance, but that's probably why. Now, actually, I think this is very plausible that they go in that direction. First of all, we do have some evidence, some an implication that they're classifying this with the burns. Otherwise, why would they talk talk about Omi token utility coming in the next couple of weeks? So, so clearly, we can have some information regarding Omi token utility soon. Unfortunately, this feels a little bit like we're going to have it in November, just the way that they're talking. And I wish it's unfortunate, but I wish they would just tell us. I wish we would have that article now. I really want to know because I think it's really going to bump up the price. So I'm, I'm kind of really excited about that. But it's a, it goes to question, though. Are we excited about the price bumping up? Um, I know that the, the the everyone's excited about the token. I'm happy to see see myself high up in the green. But at the same time, 
the burns are going to be worse. So it's a trade-off. Yeah, you get that good feeling of knowing that your investment is going up in value, but that's kind of bad for the for the long-term picture, the short-term. It's, it's kind of bad overall, to be fair. It's, it's kind of bad overall. So um, especially if you're wanting this to get to higher amounts, it, the token moving too fast slows down the burns. Um, unless like unless you burn 100% of the tokens from um Omi to Omi to NFT. If you if you Omi to NFT, if you burn 100% of those tokens, that that then that's that's completely changes things. They just need more drops with Omi to NFT that favors Omi to NFT. In my opinion, let's talk about this a little bit. Could they do this? Granted, most collectibles have actually sold out like that. So. They haven't had to do this problem, but there's some collectibles that they're clearly just sitting there. And they've said before in AMAs that, you know, they're not going to just have collectibles sit there because probably if it's just sitting there for weeks on end, it's most likely there's no demand for it, right? I mean, it's good to have some stuff that you can buy, but most likely if it's just sitting down there in a closet somewhere in a virtual closet, this is, this is, this is excess supply that they need to get rid of. So it makes sense to take it away. Now the burning it could be an interesting predicament here. So if you take it away, you could actually just burn that retail value up as well and also burn from the reserve supply. What I'm curious about is what then happens to the collectibles people are holding. Cause I did check, there's people who are holding like mint number 50. And there's also people who are holding mint number like 20,000. So they are they on both ends. It's, it's randomized on both ends. Are we going to get our mints changed? Are, are the numbers and the value going to be changed, or is just there's just going to be these huge gaps that's just there? Are we going to have these huge gaps, and then how does that affect pricing at that point? Um. So yeah, like I'm, I wonder how they're going to change that for the people who are actually holding this. Let's say. At some point, they burn 100% of these things that's left over, leaving us with about 6,000 6, or so collectibles. At that point, it's only 6,000 additions. Do they change all the mints to put us down into this 6,000 frame? Or do we still keep these random high mint numbers? Out of 6,000, do we still have people with mint 20,000? How do we know they could do that? Well, we know they have 50 plus years of tokens just sitting in the reserve wallet. It doesn't take a genius to take a look at the OMI token tracker and see that there's like 284 billion tokens. That's a lot of tokens. I mean, we don't know that. It appears like a lot of tokens, but I always say it. We don't know what the VVverse is going to burn. And they've also said multiple times that the VVerse is going to burn a ton of tokens. So... Um, it can get to a situation where it's not a, as much tokens as people think, because if you're burning a billion tokens a day with the VVverse, a billion tokens a day because of the VVerse, it's yeah, it's is a billion a lot of tokens. It's, this is what we have right now, a lot of tokens at that point. And yeah, I think that we could run into a situation where that's the case. We get a billion tokens burned a day, like potentially depending on what type of utilities and stuff that they add. So yeah. They don't even really need buybacks at this point. They can just use the tokens they have. But I know that the team really does want to cater to Omi investors. I would like to see the buybacks. I would like to see some NFT buybacks, to be fair. Like if they bought if they bought some NFTs back from the community and burned them, that would be fire. Like, I don't know. I don't know. How, how would y'all feel about that? I think it would be interesting. It makes some of the holders. I, I think that kind of defeats the purpose, though. That's like that's like Marvel releasing comic books and then going buying it back itself, damaging some just to make their own comic more valuable. <laughs> it's like, I guess that's not a good idea. They have been yelled at online for several months now. So I think this might be an easy, quick way to just burn more tokens from the supply. I think it's a no brainer that they do this. Also, we know that we're gonna have more utility. So we will know here in the probably next couple weeks, hopefully, what OMI token utility is gonna look like, what's gonna burn from circulating supply, what's gonna possibly burn from reserve supply. So it's definitely an exciting time. This is just a speculative video. I don't know if they're gonna actually do this. I really don't, but it would be interesting if they did. And I wonder what the long-term ramifications of this would be.
all right y'all so there we have it that that was his point um it, it would be interesting to see what happens i'm interested in seeing exactly how they go about this um i know that everybody wants the omi token utility and that's something that people are focusing on heavy right now but the fact is whether they mean that this is going to go towards the omi token or not they're showing that they're, they were talking about getting rid of half the omi token supply but they made the conscious decision the people who have been ahead of us thinking farther than us they made the decision that no, it's not the best thing to get rid of half the supply. I know that they know something that we don't because they were four years ahead knowing something, knowing more than the people who are experts in the crypto space when it comes down to NFTs and stuff like that. They clearly know stuff and see stuff that people don't see. So I honestly trust their judgment and I just feel like it's some stuff that we don't know yet. So I don't know if this is necessarily makes sense for the token because like with what they have planned, just adding on extra stuff to the token to burn it could potentially cause a problem. It could be too much, too many burns. So, um, yeah, like I said, we don't really know what type of burns that we can look forward to. So we don't know if it really makes sense to add more burns on top of the token. So that being said, let me know how you all feel about this. Let me know your thoughts. It is interesting. Um, interesting thought process. Be sure to check out the homie Dan. Always drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications so you stay updated. And yeah, catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace out, Joe.